Hi everyone! If you are watching this video, you have probably purchased or are contemplating purchasing LinkUp's Cat 8 or Cat 6A fuel termination plugs. Congratulations! You have chosen the best performance, most robust, and easiest crimping plugs available in the networking industry. Today we are going to talk about how to properly crimp these plugs. When you purchase this plug from our website or Amazon store, you can find these instructions as one of the main product images. We will be going through these instructions step by step to complete this termination. So what kind of tools do we need for this job? The term toolless really means you can perform this job in the field with limited tools. Let's begin. First, let's put the screw type boot into the wire. The black end goes in first. We are going to use this LinkUp Cat 8 40G cable for our plug to complete the termination. We will strip the cable jacket about 30 millimeters, that's 3 centimeters or 1 and a quarter inches. This LinkUp Cat 8 cable has STP FTP double shielded wires. We are going to twist the shield and wrap it around the cable jacket. We will use the copper foil tape provided to wrap around the shield. This will guarantee a proper ground of the network cable. Then, we will remove the foil from each one of these pairs. This is a very important note to consider. As all four pairs are shown, we have to determine which wire scheme we are going to crimp. It is either 568A or 568B. It is not determined randomly. It all depends on how the wires are arranged inside. For example, let's look at the wire arrangement inside. When these four pairs are separated, find the pair diagonal from the brown pair. This pair will be at pin 1 and 2. Here, the pair diagonal to the brown pair is orange in color. This is a 568B wire arrangement. We will use a 568B to crimp our plug. If this pair is green in color, this is a 568A wire arrangement. We will use a 568A to crimp our plug. Failing to choose the appropriate crimp can cause huge performance drops. The next step is untwisting and straightening the wires so they are easier to insert into the cable loader. From the color indicated on the cable loader, we will arrange green and orange at the top and the blue and brown pairs at the bottom. Let's insert the green and orange first. Once completed, Flip the cable and loader. The blue and brown pair are to click on with little pressure. We simply cut the extra wires which are sticking out of the loader edge, starting from the blue and brown pairs. Please make sure there is less than 0.2 millimeters sticking out of the loader piece. Next, we flip the cable and plug it to the side so the indents can be seen easily. Apply a little force to press these two parts and then close the top portion by flipping it down. The next step can be done with any pressing tool to easily complete the job, or without a tool at all if the wires you're using are thinner. However, 
For 22 gauge wires like this LinkUp Cat 8 cable, we would recommend using LinkUp Easy Pressing Tool. Make sure the strain relief is facing the yellow press piece. Level the press tool on a flat surface and have the cable fully inserted. Press the cable using one hand while using the other to screw the boot the tightest you can. You can use a clamp if you like, but this is good enough. Lastly, if you ever make a mistake, don't worry. You can simply unscrew the boots, open the plugs, and redo it again. Remember this plug is reusable. The only consumable part is the copper foil tape. However, you can still achieve a perfect termination without it. If you have any further questions, please feel free to leave your comment below or send us an email to support at linkup.one.